Hey guys, welcome to my video. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create a contact form in your WordPress website. The first thing that you need to do is obviously log into your backend of your website using your username and password. Then go to plugins and click on add new. Now click on the search bar and look for contact form 7. Here you can see contact form 7 on the left top corner. Click on install now and after you finish installing the plugin just activate it. The plugin is active and ready to go as you can see here and we can also uh, approach it through contact and then contact forms. As you can see they already created a contact form for us which they call it uh, contact form 1. You can change it uh, to any name that you want but for this example I'm gonna keep it uh, that way and this contact form have a short code that we're gonna copy right now and we're gonna paste it later. Let's click on edit to see what this contact form is all about and we can see that we have the first name, email address, subject line and of course the uh, body message. Uh, we're gonna click on pages and then we're gonna create a new page and we're gonna call it contact us you can call it any name you want but for this demonstration I'm gonna call it contact us and I'm gonna pass the shortcode that we just copy a second ago I'm gonna click uh, publish and I'm gonna visit this page to see how the contact form look like so as you can see you have uh, your name email address subject subject uh, message and of course the submit button alright so in order to define where this contact form is gonna send to we're gonna go back to the plugin dashboard and then we're gonna click on the mail tab alright here you're gonna put your email address where you want to receive the contact form and pretty much all the other fields you can just keep it the way it is because as you can see everything in these brackets is dynamic text and that means that your name is the actual name that they fill in the form okay and it's same for the subject same for the additional header and of course same for the message body so whatever in this brackets is dynamic text don't touch it just leave it the way it is and here you can see the actual mail that you're gonna get whenever someone filling a form so it's gonna show you from where from who uh, his email address his subject and of course the message body Okay, which is excellent. Now here you can see from which website uh, you got it. Uh, that's in case you have many websites, but if you only have one, so you can just remove this line or just keep it just the way it is, it doesn't matter. So let's go back to uh, the form tab and I will show you how to add another uh, subject. If you would like to, for example, to add gender or something, so just create a space for it and click on whatever you want. I'm gonna choose this checkbox. I'm gonna make it required by marking this uh, option and then I'm gonna give it a relevant name which is gender I'm gonna give two options male and female each in a separate line and on the bottom you will, you will need to copy this shortcode that you have over there in order to paste it in the mail that you're going to receive so I'm gonna copy this gender in these brackets I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna keep add and we're gonna paste it in a second but right now I'm, I want to create a label for it so it's gonna be uh, easier for them to understand what I want from them to to check so I'm going to open the label I'm gonna write your gender and I'm gonna close it uh, right after the shortcode I am going to let them know that this field is required so I'm gonna add it to the text required just like the name and I'm going to close this label just after this code just like that so it looks good now let's go to the mail tab again and here I will need to paste the short code the gender short code that I just copied a second ago so I'm gonna find a place to put it I'm gonna click I'm gonna write gender and then I'm gonna paste the code I'm gonna scroll down and click on save and wait for the changes to take a place now after it's all done, it's ready to go, we can go back to the form, make sure that uh, we have the gender now 
and as you can see we have uh, the gender with male and female that they can choose from and the last two tabs that I would like to show you is the messages tab where you can change the default message whenever someone sending you a form you can change what message he will see I will leave it just the way it is but you can change it whenever you want and the last tab is the additional settings tab which is more advanced here you can uh, connect your contact form to PayPal so user will be redirect to PayPal after they submitting a form this is very nice and I also have tutorial about that one you can check it in the in the description down below